Welcome back to my channel. This is Martin and you are watching Astro from Home. Today we are talking about some new features on the Astro station. The first one is when you're doing a plate solve, um, when having taken an exposure. So this is real time and here we see that now the focal length of your telescope is displayed as well as what you have currently set as well as the rotation of the camera and by clicking apply you will take this over and clicking synchronization you will have the information stored second we now have the video stream for the multi star guiding available seeing now the the square for the main star and the circles for the other stars here I have to play a bit around with the with the gain of the guide camera that that I can also see what the guide camera is capturing and here we see the circle and the square again and the system is calibrating as it takes some time now I can give a brief update about commonly asked questions on the other videos um, regarding rotator and flat panels. This has been on, on the discussion list at TubeTech already and um, they moved it for the moment after the release because they first want to get all the basic functionalities up and running. And so um, flat panel rotator will most likely come a bit later only and how I know my contact I think that's a given fact that um, that the two features will come after the global release as um, the, the team is very engaged to have a premium product released um, and um, to update it frequently so I'm really betting on this that that the two features will come and um, currently they they are close to release the first version of their their sky atlas and also they are working on the iphone app as at the moment there is only the app for android and um yeah the rotation of the camera that we have seen up front um it matches exactly with um, what nina is displaying is the camera rotation and the camera rotation that it's built in already it clearly shows that um, on the sky atlas they are also doing a lot of progress because um having the the sky atlas available without rotation wouldn't make any sense so so i'm very pleased here and um yeah the here in the stream, the guide, guiding is still calibrating and at the bottom of the screen we also see this M1 slash 2. I think this is um, about the, the guide stars, so which are the main, uh, how many main stars and um, supporting stars the, the system is taking into consideration. Um, but I have to ask this, um, what this is all about, because in the last update when multi-star guiding was introduced, this was not available at that time. So it's also something that I have only seen during the last session using the Astro Station, which was the, the night before yesterday. And yeah, it's here still calibrating. So and um yeah it it takes lots of calibration steps here in my test because i was just using a 120 millimeter guide scope not an oag as usual because i also wanted to have yeah the the look and feel how it is with short focal lengths guide scopes and here we are almost done with the calibration and just one two steps to uh, to get back uh, 
on track. So yeah, and now the crosshairs are green, so it starts guiding, the graph is coming, and here we go with multi-star guiding on the TubeTech Astro Station and having the visual uh, camera stream what's going on. For the moment, at least for me, it looks like that um, the RA and DEC RMS are not fully in line with what the graphs are showing. I already reported this to, to TubeTech to have an additional look into this because um, yeah, the, the graph is rather flat and the RMS is displayed yeah, with horrible figures, I would say. And um, yeah, I just need to get some clarity on it. I think it's that uh, the one or the other is is uh, yeah a bit wrong in what is displayed. That the truth is somewhere in in between because um, in the course of the night, um, yeah, and taking a look at the pictures, it really looks like that that it's more with the graph. Um, that is correct. And uh, what else we have now is um, when you're doing an autofocus run, the system is displaying you at least one star with the current uh, HFR. So um, uh, I hope it is visible because this light blue on the gray background is not so good to read, but I think you can get it. Um, so while it's moving through through the different focus steps, um, this is also always updated what the current HFR for this particularly chosen star looks like. And um, yeah, I'm happy with the progress. And um, in this screen, um, maybe you can... And, uh, seen it already bottom right side we now see as well 130 uh, 163 degrees which is the camera rotation so um you also have the feedback and here is the final image that i have taken with the astro station recently it's ngc 7023 the iris nebula and thank you for watching and see you soon